Welcome back. You're watching News X. Amudar Pratap Singh. Sources are telling us that Amit Shah, Union Home Minister, is to chair a meeting with Devendra Fadnavis today. Sources also tell us that JP Nadda is to be present for this meeting. Sources tell us one CM, two Deputy CM formula is likely. CM name will be finalized tonight. Sources also tell us no clarity though if an announcement will be made tonight itself or will there, that will be put off. Sanjay Sharma is joining us for more details on this story. Sanjay, Devendra Fadnavis is departing from Delhi any minute, uh, for Delhi any minute now. What time is his meeting with Amit Shah and JP Nadda likely? When will the decision be taken on who will be the next Maharashtra CM? Look, Sham ko aaj der sham tak Maharashtra ka mukhya mantri naya kon banega? Is par faisla ho jare ho jayega. Kyunki wahan par jo tussle hai, wo do logon ke beech mein hai. एक नाथ शिंदे वो अपनी तरफ से दावा पेश कर रहे हैं क्योंकि उनके नेतृत्व में चुनाव हुए उनकी सरकार के कामकाज पर चुनाव हुए उनके चेहरे पर चुनाव हुए लिहाजा वो खुद मुख्यमंत्री पद की दावेदारी करें दूसरा बड़ा दावा बीजेपी का इस बार क्योंकि बीजेपी ने इस बार हिस्टोरिकल जीत हासिल की है वन सीटें लड़ करके वन सीटों पर उनको जीत मिली है तो एट्टी के आसपास उनका स्ट्राइक रेट है लिहाजा बीजेपी इस बार किसी भी तरह से दावा छोड़ना नहीं चाहती लिहाजा बीजेपी खुद दावा पेश कर रही है लेकिन इन दोनों के नामों के टसल के बीच में अब दिल्ली आना पड़ रहा है देवेंद्र फडनवीस वो दिल्ली पहुंच रहे हैं वो यहाँ पर आकर के केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री अमित शाह से मुलाकात करेंगे जेपी नड्डा से भी मुलाकात करेंगे तो जेपी नड्डा और अमित शाह के साथ जो उनकी मुलाकात होगी उसमें उनको नाम दे दिया जाएगा कि आखिर मुख्यमंत्री कौन बनेगा तो आज देर शाम तक दिल्ली से फैसला हो जाएगा दिल्ली तय कर देगा कि महाराष्ट्र का अगला मुख्यमंत्री कौन होगा लगभग ये मुलाकात नौ से साढ़े के बीच के बीच में होना चाहिए मुला नौ बजे के आसपास केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री अमित शाह से मिल सकते हैं देवेंद्र फडनवीस और उसके बाद में महाराष्ट्र के नए मुख्यमंत्री के नाम का ऐलान हो सकता है संभव हो सकता है उसके बाद कल कल के बारे में कहा जा रहा है कि कल 26 तारीख है और कल बीजेपी महायुति के नेता मिलकर के राज्यपाल से मिलकर के सरकार बनाने का दावा भी पेश कर सकते हैं जी और किसका नाम आगे चल रहा है क्या फॉर्मूला पे मोहर लग सकती है आज संजय देखिए एक मुख्यमंत्री दो मुख्यमंत्री बनाए जाना तय जिस तरह से पिछली बार महायुति में फैसला हुआ था अजीत पवार के बारे में यह कहा जा रहा है कि वो डिप्टी सीएम बनने के लिए तैयार हो गए उन्होंने अपने आप को सीएम पद की रेस से बाहर कर लिया है तो सीएम पद की रेस में अब दो बड़े चेहरे बचे हैं देवेंद्र फडनवीस और एक शिंदे तो एक शिंदे अभी भी अपना अपना दावा पेश कर रहे हैं बीजेपी अपनी तरफ से देवेंद्र फडनवीस का नाम आगे लेकर के दावा पेश कर रही है तो इन दोनों के नामों पर दिल्ली फैसला करेगा अगर देवेंद्र फडनवीस को सीएम नहीं बनाया जाता तो फिर उनको दिल्ली में राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर कोई बड़ी जिम्मेदारी दी जा सकती है उनको राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष तक बना सकती है बीजेपी तो ये फैसला आज देर शाम को हो जाएगा इस पर सभी की निगाहें लगी रहेंगी अमित शाह से जब मगर फिर एक और बड़ा सवाल है वित्त मंत्रालय किसको मिलेगा क्या एनसीपी को या शिवसेना को दोनों पार्टियां दावा कर रही हैं संजय देखिए डिप्टी सीएम बनना तय अजीत पवार का बाकी मंत्रालय कौन कौन से किस किस को मिलेंगे इस पर अभी बात होना बाकी है लेकिन यह कहा जा रहा है कि छह से सात विधायक पर एक मंत्री पद दिया जाएगा लिया जा जैसे 41 एमएलए एनसीपी अजीत पवार के पास है तो उनके पास में पांच से छह मंत्री आ सकते हैं साथ ही साथ जहां तक शिंदे की बात है अगर वो सीएम बनते तो उनके मंत्री कुछ कम हो सकते हैं लेकिन अगर उनको सीएम नहीं बनाया जाता तो फिर उनको उनकी पार्टी को एक डिप्टी सीएम मिलेगा साथ ही साथ उनको छह से सात मंत्री पद भी मिल सकते हैं तो ये देखना होगा किस तरीके के फार्मूले लेकर के देवेंद्र फडनवीस दिल्ली से मिल रहे हैं केंद्रीय अमित शाह से मीटिंग हो रही है उनकी और अब तक जो जो महाराष्ट्र पे जो जो चर्चा हुई है महायुति के तीनों नेताओं के बीच में उसको वो अमित शाह के सामने भी रखेंगे जी बिल्कुल बने रही आप हमारे संग कुछ और इस वक्त बड़ी खबर आ रही है एज देवेंद्र फडनवीस इमर्जेज एज फ्रंट रनर टू बी नेक्स्ट सीएम सोर्स इज टेलास दैट इफ नॉट सीएम फडनवीस कुड बी गिवन अ पोर्टफोलियो इन द यूनियन कैबिनेट और कुड बी इन द रनिंग फॉर बीजेपी प्रेसिडेंट सोर्स इज ऑल्सो रिवील टू आस द बीजेपी इज डिलिबरेटिंग ओवर प्रॉपिंग अप अ फ्रेश फेस एज सीएम बीजेपी इज कंसिडर टू मेक अ मराठा फेस एज सीएम ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सोर्स इज ऑल्सो रिवील दैट चंद्रकांत पाटिल एंड विनोद तावड़े आर ऑल्सो बींग कंसिडर्ड फॉर द सी एम पोस्ट संजय शर्मा ये एक और बड़ी खबर आ रही है संजय अगर देवेंद्र फडनवीस नहीं बनते हैं मगर अगर बीजेपी को आ, अपने मुख्यमंत्री चेहरे का फैसले करने का मौका मिलता है तो क्या कोई सरप्राइज भी हो सकता है क्या कोई नया चेहरा भी हो सकता है जिसको बीजेपी मैदान में उतार सकती है अगर आप कह रहे हैं कि देवेंद्र फडनवीस को दिल्ली लाया जा सकता है 
केंद्र मंत्री के तौर पे या बीजेपी राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष के तौर पे या कोई और अन्य बड़ी जिम्मेदारी के लिए तो फिर विनोद तावड़े चंद्रकांत पाटिल आशीष शेलार या कोई और नाम की एंट्री हो सकती है क्या महाराष्ट्र मुख्यमंत्री के रेस में देखिए ये देखना होगा कि लॉटरी किसके नाम की खुलती है हालांकि जिस तरह से आप भी बोल रहे हैं उदय सबसे बड़ा जो दावा है वो देवेंद्र फडणवीस का है क्योंकि उनके नेतृत्व में बीजेपी ने महाविजय हासिल की है साथ ही साथ महायुति के भी वो बड़े नेता माने जाते हैं दोनों पार्टियां एनसीपी और शिवसेना तोड़ने का जो बड़ा करिश्मा किया है वो देवेंद्र फडनवीस ने किया है सरकार बनाई है उन्होंने उद्धव ठाकरे की सरकार गिरा करके अब उन्होंने बीजेपी की सरकार बनाई है दोनों बड़ी पार्टियों को तोड़ करके सरकार बनाई है और फिर से उसी उसी महायुति को जादुई करिश्मे से प्रचंड बहुमत के साथ बहुमत पे लाने का भी काम किया है तो दावा भी इस वक्त जुड़ गया हमारे संग डेर मिरांडा मैं आपके पास आऊंगा डेर मिरांडा बड़ा सवाल यह है महाराष्ट्र का अगला मुख्यमंत्री कौन होगा Who is ahead in the race? Could there be a surprise in the store as BJP has done in previous uh, state elections where it has won and where uh, there has been no CM face declared earlier? Uh, what are you hearing, Darrell? Uday currently Devendra Fadnavis is leading the race to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra because all the state leaders and party members are want Devendra Fadnavis to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. But at the same time, we also cannot deny the fact that BJP might give a surprise in Maharashtra by bringing a new face as a CM in Maharashtra because as we are what information we are getting through sources is that the central leadership of the BJP is uh, having talks with their central leaders and might give a new face in Maharashtra. What news currently is coming up is that the BJP might also give a Maratha face in Maharashtra. So the uh, if you see at the Maratha faces in Maharashtra, there are top three leaders in the BJP in Maharashtra. If you talk, there is Ashish Shelar from the BJP who is also the Mumbai BJP city president, Chandra Kant Patil who is a, uh, currently a cabinet minister in Maharashtra and also Vinod Taude, who is in the central BJP leadership. So all these three names are on the forefront. So whether BJP will be continuing with Devendra Fadnavis as the chief minister of Maharashtra, or whether they will be giving a new face in Maharashtra, it will be a important to see. But we all know BJP always comes up with surprises. surprises. So this time around, they will be continuing with, with Devendra Fadnavis because right now Devendra Fadnavis is leading the race in Maharashtra because all the party MLAs want Devendra Fadnavis to be the chief minister. But it is up to the central leadership of the BJP whether to continue with Devendra Fadnavis or to take Devendra Fadnavis in the Union Cabinet Minister, give him a portfolio in the Union Cabinet Minister or make him the National President. So this will be decided tonight when Devendra Fadnavis is set to meet Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with uh, uh, President J.P. Nadda. So all will be decided in today's meeting and by tonight we, it will all be clear that whether it will be BJP who will be having the Chief Minister's post or whether it will be Shiv Sena Eknath Shinde or the BJP will give a new surprise in Maharashtra as done previously in other states. Uday. All right. Uh, in fact, joining us now also is Sumit Peer, political commentator. Sumit, uh, the race is on for Maharashtra Chief Minister. The action likely to shift to Delhi today uh, in the evening. Uh, Sumit, uh, who do you feel is leading the race? What are the factors that the Mahayuti will consider while making this very, very important choice? Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, looking at the performance of BJP, now the things are very clear. You cannot experiment in Maharashtra with an experimental leader. It has to be Devendra Fadnavis ji as the chief minister. Uh, as far as the you know speculation of making him the national president of BJP, I can tell you that won't happen. I'm stretching my neck out and telling you that won't happen. There are various reasons. Let's not discuss them right now. That's, that's not a time. So B, Fadnavis ji as a CM, now the problem will be with Eknath Shinde ji. Will he accept as a, a deputy CM or not? I think my take on it will be, it will not be the Ignat Shinde, it will be his son. Dr. Shinde, who is an MP, they will move him to Maharashtra. He can be the deputy CM. Ignat ji can be accommodated in the union cabinet with a bigger portfolio. That looks logical because this Ignat Shinde does not want to do the mistake which Udav did. Udav Thakre did exactly the same mistake and you know, you know what is the outcome of that. So it will be a good formula because at a strike rate of 89%, you cannot ask Fadnavis ji, bhai, garpe bat. And that is, he is interested in to be the CM of Maharashtra. That is exactly what will happen. So, Eknath Shinde ji's son, Dr. Shinde, who is MP, will move as deputy CM. Ajit Dada Pawa, deputy CM. And then, obviously, you know, we are media and now expecting the announcement of the, you know, the chief of BJP, which, because Nadaji's tenure is over, 
a new adhyaksha has to be announced which is a matter of days or a week so that will happen after this maharashtra thing is settled and another thing uh, if you consider vinod tawde ji vinod tawde ji might be accommodated in the cabinet ashish shelar might be accommodated in the cabinet but honestly if you ask me both of them as a replacement of devendra fadnavis and giving them the cm that's not going to happen because if you look at the initially when bjp was last time when they, it was devendra fadnavis today breaking shiv sena breaking ncp and getting the winning factions of both the sides with him and pulling this magic 89% is is a big number so logically practically ethically and by prudence and practice it has to be devendra fadnavis because question is not would you make him a rashtriya adhyaksha would you make him some tall cabinet minister or not because if you do this thing udav udai kya hoga ki next in few years you might lose the ground and how do you know and how do you know ajit pawar might go back to sharad pawar shinde ji might go back to udav bhavu those options will only emerge if you don't if you have a different person and if devendra fadnavis is there there will be no disgruntlement in the cadre the people who have worked will get it and even with the bjp the you know people feed bhai i did the work i did all the thing you are getting and putting somebody as a cm because look devendra fadnavis will have his own set of people if he is the cm that set of people that group of people that cadre of people will also get something in return so all the sweat and blood which they have put in uh, in the elections and let's not forget devendra fadnavis ji last time did a great sacrifice when he was told to be the deputy cm first he said i am out of the yes. uh, of the government main bahar se support karunga then nadda ji has a press conference in delhi he said he is the deputy cm and fadnavis ji accepted that with grace so if you look at all the things which fadnavis ji has done you have to give him what is due i don't think this is a time to uh, parachute a leader there because that can upset basic paradigms of power at the ground looking at that my my guess would be fadnavis ji and eknar shinde ji can get something tall in delhi cabinet minister his son deputy cm and uh, ajit dada okay Pawar let's get in gyanendra mishra political analyst for his take as well gyanendra mishra come in here what are the factors that are uh, leading to uh, uh, either mr fadnavis being ahead or eknar shinde according to you and uh, at the end of the day of course uh, uh, who will ensure more stability of this coalition although it's been a sweep and numbers are not a problem but a stable government in maharashtra is important uh, with the you know the splintering of parties that we've seen in the last 2 3 years yeah uday thank you so yes and it is really very really interesting thing to watch out closely that how it plays out you know and from the stability perspective that you talked about you know we all have seen that the relationship between the ajit uh, pawar dada ajit pawar's uh, ncp and uh, eknath sinde ji's uh, shiv sena has not been that cordial uh, during this entire campaign and even before that and it was interesting to watch that uh, mr ajit pawar categorically stating that uh, ncp would support the candidature of devendra fadnavis as the chief minister instead of naming you know the current chief minister incumbent chief minister eknath sinde ji on the other hand obviously see it is it is all right that bjp has done stupendously well then shiv sena has also eknath sinde shiv sena has done equally well and ajit pawar's ncp has done equally well so it's not as if that only the bjp has done exceptionally well and there and 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 nobody denies that the one factor that contributed to this success was eknath sinde's governance whether it is a, a ladki bahana scheme or his open door policy he he being accessible to the people in contrast to earlier chief minister including uddhav thakre ji because i know that when you have to meet mr uddhav thakre you know you will have to knock many doors uh, before you can meet him on the contrary uh, eknath sinde ji had a very accessible he was kind of an i i describe it as a samajwadi chief minister his doors were always open he was very accessible he worked at the grass grassroots he envisaged the schemes which has because almost you know 2.5 crore muslim uh, sorry uh, women voters in maharashtra out of this 5 crore uh, almost 2 crore 40 lakh voters were uh, women and this uh, ladki behna scheme has significantly sway the women voter 
in favor of uh, Mahayuti government. So what point I was trying to make is that the Eknath Sinde has been instrumental in big way uh, in this success and in the same way you cannot deny the credit to Mr. Devender for and these for yes. this absolutely well performance for and uh, okay but, meanwhile in but, more details now coming in sources are revealing to News X that Eknath Shinde is vying for the CM post again Shinde contends that he the Shiv Sena is the second largest party the election was fought in his name sources also tell us that the Shiv Sena is not willing to leave the CM post to BJP for five years they have cited lack of BJP's backing in eight seats as well. Daryl Miranda continues to be, be with us. Daryl uh, uh, Iknath Shinde continuing to insist on the CM's uh, post for himself. What are the reasons being given uh, by him to the top BJP leadership for this? Uday, if you see the Shusana MLAs are not willing to leave the CM post, they are, want Eknath Shinde to be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. They are insisting for the post of the CM. And on the other hand, the MLAs of Shusena Shinde faction are saying that since Shusena is the single largest party in Maharashtra after BJP with 57 seats, the BJP should also give the CM post for Maharashtra at least for two years or one year. There are two formulas they are they are thinking of that is it's either 311 that is three years for BJP, one year Shusena, one year NCP, or else it should be 221 that is two years BJP, two years Shusena, and one year NCP. This is what we are getting to know from our sources. But if you see in a bigger picture, the Shusena MLAs are not uh, willing to give up on the post of the CM, they are insisting for the post of CM and they want Eknath Shinde to be the chief minister of. Maharashtra because they are saying that when we went into the elections, so we, we fought this election under the leadership of uh, Eknath Shinde and it was Eknath Shinde's face under which the uh, these elections were fought. Uh, also, the Mukhya Mantri La Ladki Bahini Yojana, uh, which was a, a master stroke in the Maharashtra election, was also brought under the leadership of Eknath Shinde. So the MLAs are insisting on this post and they, they don't want to leave this post. So now it will be important to see how the BJP central leadership uh, copes up with this. Joyta Basu, editor of the Sunday Guardian, in fact, is also joining us now live. Uh, Joyta, in your opinion, who is leading the race currently? What do you make of this assertion by Eknath Shinde that the elections were won in his name? He was the one being projected all along. Uh, the Shiv Sena also a bit unhappy at BJP's lack of support in certain seats. Uh, meanwhile, contending uh, that continuity should be maintained. Well, I am not very certain about it because our information in the Sunday Guardian is slightly different. You see, I mean, our information is that the issues may have been settled and uh, Devendra Fadnavis is likely to be the chief minister. And it seems that uh, both uh, Shinde and Pawar have agreed to it. So, uh, and whatever formula they may uh, come up with, but there is a strong possibility of um, Devendra Fadnavis becoming uh, chief minister. So, I mean chief minister position I would say is the least of uh, the Mahayuti's uh, worries because primarily because you see you have to understand one thing the BJP and particularly here it is not one person's it is not about one person's ambition it is about what is going to happen in the future. You know BJP does not think in terms of you know one victory one election it wants to hold on to that Sena voter, okay, just because the BJP has swept the state as a, and has emerged as the single largest party, it would take it 2 minutes to just you know form a government on its own. If it has got 132 seats, it just needs to get another 10, 13, 13 seats and it is home and dry. But they are unlikely to do that, that is because you see what is very important for Maharashtra is that and especially for BJP this Mahayuti allowance alliance is that they do not want um, Uddhav Thakre to come up again and they want and even for that matter even Eknath Shinde does not want Uddhav Thakre anywhere uh, claiming the uh, claiming that they are the real Shiv Sena. So, I mean some obviously discussions etc will happen but everything will be falling in okay. place. Okay, and which is why they are uh, weighing their options before of course coming up with the final formula. Okay, sources meanwhile telling us that Ajit Pawar is currently not in the race for CM post. He is content with being deputy CM. He is likely to be made in charge of the finance ministry. Sources also tell us the NCP is likely to support Devendra Fadnavis as CM. Darren Miranda, interestingly uh, Ajit Pawar throwing his backing behind Devendra Fadnavis 
Is he wanting the finance ministry in return for his uh, backing for Mr. Fadnavis? Uday, if you see, Ajit Pawar is not currently in the race of the Chief Minister's post and is happy if he is given the post of the Deputy CM and also importantly the portfolio of Finance Ministry. Currently, Ajit Pawar is holding the Finance Ministry portfolio in the Maharashtra government and it is also said that once again when the government will be formed, it, Ajit Pawar will be given the Deputy Chief Minister's post and also along with that he will be given the Finance Ministry portfolio and what information we have got through our sources is that Ajit Pawar along with his MLAs are supporting Devendra Fadnavis to become the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Ajit Pawar is not really interested currently and not in the race because if we see compared to Shiv Sena and BJP, Ajit Pawar has the least number of MLAs in the Mahayuti. So therefore, Ajit Pawar is said to be happy with, with what he is going to get that is the Deputy CM post and the Finance Ministry portfolio. But on the other hand, Shiv Sena is not willing with the post, they want the CM post. So now it will be important to see once the decisions are done in Delhi where all the uh, senior uh, leaders will be having a meeting with Devendra Fadnavis and okay. if Ekna Shinde will accept the decision of giving the CM post to five years for BJP. But all eyes are uh, now on Maharashtra. Sumit Peer also continues to be with, with us. Sumit, this uh, formula is also being talked about of two and a half year, two and a half year. Is that likely or completely unlikely in your opinion? Also, what do you make of Ajit Pawar? He is not in the running. He's ruled himself out of the race. He's thrown his backing behind Mr. Fadnavis. But will he get the finance ministry? That's also something to be watched. I think there are two things here. Uday. This two and a half or two, two years or one, one year formula is not practical. It has not worked anywhere and it will not work because that talks of a lack of trust and there should be no way alliance with lack of trust. I think Fadnavis did, you know, has worked hard enough to be the CM. Secondly, when it comes to, you know, ministries like finance, PW and D and home, that to be discussed and contemplated, that can be a trade-off in, uh, in, in the meanwhile. Because, look, if you also want a deputy chief minister and if you also want a finance minister, PD, PWD and home, that's something which is a taller ask, looking at your number of MLAs and all. So that is something which can be still contemplated and discussed. But uh, I think that should not be the stumbling block. The challenge would be that this formula of changing chief ministers I don't think BJP is going to agree on it because at this position, if BJP agrees to that, that will be literally like uh, yes. uh, kind of de defeating your mandate. Okay. I okay. They should point taken. Point taken. We have to slip into a short break. My thanks to our guests for joining us. Also our reporter. We're back on the other side with lots more.